In this video, we are going to go over one of the building codes that is difficult to interpret sometimes, and that's the clear width of the inside of the stairway. And when building our deck stairs, this is usually going to be represented by the area, the measurement in between the guardrails. And keep in mind that the guardrail is different from the handrail. This is a grippable handrail that you can hold on to while walking up a stairway. And the guardrail is often used to prevent you from falling off of the side of the stairway. So the clear width is going to be an unobstructed area in between the guardrails. However, the handrails will be allowed to encroach or come into this area. However, there will also be minimum measurements for that. Now most building codes have a 36 inch three foot width minimum width required for clear space so it can be larger it just can't be smaller and in our example here the stairway is an inch and a half larger than three feet providing us with three quarters of an inch additional space on each side of the stairway and I drew this box in here to represent the clear width. This is the area that cannot have anything protruding into except for the grippable handrails. That's it. And if you're a new stair builder, someone who has never built stairs before, do not mess this up. Make it a little larger if you can. If you're not quite sure how the hand railing or the guard railing is going to affect the stairs. Now another thing I need to point out is that you might be dealing with a situation with one grippable handrail. And if that's the case, there are usually building code minimums for the distance between the inside of the grippable handrail and the guard railing. And some building codes only require one grippable handrail, not two. And of course, you will have a minimum measurement in between two grippable handrails, usually in your building codes also. So in other words, the grippable handrails, even though they can encroach into the clear space, they won't be able to encroach into the clear space more than their minimum requirements. And hopefully by now you have a clear understanding what the minimum clear width for a stairway is that will have a guardrail or a wall on one side or the other of a set of deck stairs.